In this demo, we'll show you how you can eliminate DNS silos and help reestablish DDI authority and governance when adopting hybrid cloud. Let's get started. The journey to restore order to fragmented DNS starts here. We're going to eliminate silos of DNS by simplifying forwarding rules to access public resources like Google and private resources in AWS. Because we're using Blue Cat Edge and service points at the first hop of any DNS query, we have complete control and visibility over DNS resolution all in one central platform. That means regardless of where critical applications and services live, network admins can tame the complexity of conditional forwarding rules and unlock new creative resolution paths to improve service delivery. Let's get started. We have provisioned some infrastructure in AWS, like a BAM, a BDDS, and an edge service point, and discovered it all in one central location here in Blue Cat Address Manager. We have already extended visibility and control into any cloud by deploying our zone records in team1.com to an authoritative BDS server already provisioned in AWS. By doing a dig, we can confirm that our records exist at our authoritative BDDS server in Amazon. So I'll implement a dig here. There's our IP, public IP for our BDDS and our team one domain. We get a no error having found our record using a resolver up in AWS that we're hosting our data on. But that's a silo of DNS. What happens when clients need access to more than a private server on AWS, such as public resources? Let's do another dig. Let's use our same public IP for our BDDS and type in google.com. We get a status refused in using our BDDS to access public resources. That's because the BDDS server on AWS is set up securely to not recurse out into the internet. To solve this, we need to creatively architect resolution without compromising on security when clients need access to our private BDDS or public resources. Let's jump into Blue Cat Edge to see how we do that. We're going to use Blue Cat Edge to intelligently forward queries when failure occurs. The magic behind intelligent forwarding is a namespace in Blue Cat Edge, which is a group of one or more DNS forwarders that includes rules to match on a source. It uses Blue Cat service points as the first hop and catalyst to deliver resolution for any query while logging everything for visibility. So we're gonna jump over to sites first and we'll pull up a site that we're currently working on and contains only one namespace forwarding to Google's name server. Today, Google does not know anything about my team1.com zone and BDDS because it does not have any DNS data associated with it. So let's add another namespace that will route appropriate queries searching for a private server from team1.com or alternatively looking for public resources such as Google. Let's jump into domain name list first. I'm going to create a list of domains that are hosted on our private DNS servers. And in this case, team1.com zone already deployed in AWS. And I'm gonna type in AWS private zones. And I will type in here team1.com. I will add this and then hit save. Next, I'm going to intelligently forward client queries so they're not affected by DNS silos. Let's jump over to namespaces and start configuring. Namespaces is a group of one or more DNS forwarders that includes rules to match on a source. So let's click on the plus sign here. And then here I'll type in private BDDS on AWS. private zones, and we'll add in our BDDS server in AWS. Then we'll go to domain list, and we'll search up the domain list that we originally set up, AWS private zones, and there it is. 
By configuring the namespace in this way, the BDDS in AWS becomes a forwarder and limiting query access with a list of domains. In this case, our team1.com zone. Let's add this namespace to the site we're working on. So before that, we'll hit save, and then we'll jump back over to sites. We'll look up our site. And we'll hit edit. Now we're going to configure the edge resolver with these two islands of DNS to eliminate DNS silos for our clients trying to access private resources in AWS, as well as public resources like Google. We'll search up our namespace that we just created, and you'll see now that it's added. We'll change the order of these namespaces. By placing our newly configured namespace first, all queries will be assessed. If a client is looking for team1.com, it will get resolved with a BDDS in AWS. If not, it will go out to Google for a resolution. By leveraging namespaces in this way for multiple resolution options, intelligent forwarding ensures resiliency of DNS for the enterprise so no query fails to resolve. Let's do a test, but instead of querying the BDDS in AWS, we query against our BlueCat service point in AWS. So that's our public IP and team1.com. And here we get our no error, meaning that the query resolved. Let's also try and access our public resource like Google. We'll use the same public IP for our service point and put in google.com. And here we also get another no error. Each query resolved with the appropriate resolver and we can confirm this in the query logs in Blue Cat Edge. So we'll jump over to query logs. We have our filter already set for our site. Here, you can see both queries and that there were no errors associated with resolution. And that's how you bridge the gap of silo DNS by leveraging Blue Cat Edge service points and namespaces to intelligently forward queries by simplifying the path to resolution and yet another way of restoring order to fragmented DNS that comes from cloud adoption. Visit bluecatnetworks.com to learn more.